Gingis. Welcome back to Ed Hunt. Today, as you can see, I've got a very large stack of games and DVDs and one Wii remote just in front of me here. Now, the reason why I'm taking so much down to CEX to exchange is because my local CEX has just got in a load of boxed SNES games. Now, I do not know their condition. I saw late last night that they must have got it in the day before um, and there's some really good titles in there, in there. there's um, Mortal Kombat, there's Joe and Mac, there's uh, Zelda Link to the Past, some other really good titles as well and we're going to go check them out and see if any of them are worth buying but obviously we want to buy that all with store credit so here is what we have to trade so we've got a load of Xbox One, PS5, Wii, some DVDs, um, we've got a Switch game at the top, we've got a, a Wii Remote Plus, and we've got Super Hunchback on Game Boy, we've got Splatoon there on the Switch. Now, if they take all of this, I should be getting in the region of about 110 pounds. Now, I will probably have to spend some cash as well, as there is quite a bit there. So I, I do wanna get quite a bit of it. So. I'll see you down at CEX, I'll see you when I get back, and we'll see what condition these Super Nintendo games are in. Oh wow. That Zelda is mint, mate. It's much meaner than one I saw, Joe. But one but one worse watch. Why is that I've never I've never really seen it. DSI, you see that they have a barcode in the back. Why is that? No, DSI. Oh, yeah. It takes you to the bar. I'm going to own that. Get set. Right <laughs> see them all at the same time. We have everything you need to live the young, hip, jet grind radio lifestyle. You skate, you cool. Have a shrinking PS Vita section. If you can see people, there's loads of boxed mint snares games up there. And look at that Zelda, if you can see that Zelda in the middle. Oh my days. It even has the map. I think I'll be getting that. So here's the first pile of Super Nintendo games that I asked to see from the display. I only got one game from this pile. I got two games from the other pile, which unfortunately I did not get a photo of. But I'll be going through those in the pickups now. And we're back. So, just came back from CEX and yeah, I'm pleased to say they took basically everything in that pile. So let's start going through the receipts. There are multiple receipts because they had to test some things and they actually forgot to put some things initially from the first pile. So let's go through those receipts now. So looking at the first receipt, you see a PS5 game there, Splatoon, more PS5 games, Xbox One games, some DVDs, all those DVDs were free. We've got some Wii software. More PS5 games, and you can see for this receipt, I got 65 pound 10 pence. And here's the second receipt. I do have a third one, but I just misplaced it. So you can see these are the pieces that they uh, tested. They actually tested my um, retro games as well, which is actually quite good to know because that means they're testing all the retro games as they're coming in, means they're gonna work when you buy them. So yeah, and in total, I got 46 for that one. And I believe the third receipt was about 12 pound 50. Yeah, so as you can see, got some good money got some good values on some games i did lose some money on some games as well but it was one of those occasions where i was just looking at the cex app and like they just popped up and that's when i was just like right just grab anything everything that i don't want and get it in a pile get it down to cex and you know put that towards what i'm gonna buy uh, i did trade in a mega drive six button pad also that I didn't have in the pile initially i think i've got 10 pounds for that so that was a nice little addition. So in total, I've got, I think it was 125 voucher. I ended up spending about 175. So I did spend 50 pounds of my own money, but it was one of those things I just had to do it. There was one particular game that I did want to grab, which was Total Carnage. Uh, I didn't end up grabbing that and it is now gone to bargain bin. And um, so I got three games out of this insanely nice pile of uh, Super Nintendo games. And this is like the second time this has happened as well, just unbelievable. And we're gonna start going through them now. 
and two of them have their special edition with it so let's not go through so the first game is an absolutely mint copy of Mortal Kombat 1 on the Super Nintendo Obviously, a lot of you who watch the channel are probably saying, surely you already have that. I do already have this, but not in this condition. I do not have the competition edition, and the uh, copy I have doesn't have the manual or the cardboard insert. So this is a massive condition upgrade on my initial original uh, Mortal Kombat on the Super Nintendo. So this is definitely going to get a little collection. It is absolutely beautiful. Let's take it out of the plastic container and. Fair play to CEX, they put all of the games in plastic protectors, so absolutely fair play, no stickers on the boxes either. Fantastic, absolutely mint, look at that. That is just mint, we'll, just, we'll see if we can open it up very carefully. There's always one side it's easier to do so from. So this, this side, and yeah, as you can see, games in there, manuals in there, absolutely stunning. Now this was actually the cheapest game out of the three, this was uh, 30 pounds, so, the next two games together were £145, so that was Mortal Kombat 1 on the Super Nintendo, the one that started it. Then we have Illusion of Time on the Super Nintendo, or as a lot of you might know it as Gaia as well, Illusion of Time. Uh, now this, I never see, I absolutely never see this, I rarely see it loose. I do see it loose sometimes, but not often. Seeing it boxed is very, very difficult. But even more difficult is finding this game. Unfortunately, it does have some writing on the insert, but that's okay. That's the one part I don't want to see in writing. Obviously, you've got the game still in its plastic uh, protective bag. We have the manual. But not only that, we have the map. And anyone will tell you getting the map for any of these games is so difficult to find it complete like that absolutely unreal we have the map for illusion of time on the super nintendo and just for that alone for me it was worth grabbing and yeah so so happy with that such a mint game so i can actually adventure a bit like zelda really so yeah illusion of time so third game that so this was 60 pounds so you know the third game was the most expensive so that one was 85 and we're going to go through that right now let's put this all back in very carefully illusion of time the final game the legend of zelda a link to the past you find it's just begun the new legend of zelda a link to the past now you're playing with power superpower now if you follow the channel you know that I've already picked this up recently, this year actually, and it was in very, very nice condition, not gonna lie. However, this is in slightly better condition. And not only that, it has the manual, of course, but it has the map. Now, getting this map for Zelda is just so difficult. It's, this itself is probably worth more than the car, which is insane. I reckon, you know, I place this value at at least £30 just for this poster alone, if not more. It's so difficult to get hold of. I'd love to put it on the wall. However, it's not gonna go on the wall. It's gonna stay in there. And yeah, so, so happy with that. So that was £85. So that's where most of the budget went. And I obviously had to pay £50 of my own money to get this set of Super Nintendo games. But it was absolutely worth it. Can't believe I was able to get another amazing condition set of Super Nintendo games from CEX. Once again, let's have a look at all of them together. So we have Illusion of Time, Mortal Kombat, and Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, all from CEX, and yeah, really, really happy with these three pickups. So, if you enjoyed that, make sure you hit that like button, consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one.